Welcome once again to Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard. This is the show where we not only do tech reviews and tech how-tos, but we also answer viewer questions. Today's question comes from Toby. Toby asks, I have a I have 100 or so apps downloaded into iTunes, and I've deleted some from the iPod Touch, but when after trying the items out, I decided I did not want to keep them. Is there a way to display in iTunes which apps have been uninstalled from a portable device so that I can go delete them the rest of the way off of the computer? Good question, Toby. Um, basically what he's talking about is on your iPod Touch, um, when you go in here, you have the applications. <clears throat> so basically you see your applications on here and if you click and you hold, then you're going to see a little X up in the corner that you can use to delete the application off of your iPod. And that's all you have to do is click that little X and it'll disappear. And then when you're all done, you just push this little button down here and that turns that off. So what he's wanting to do is make sure that it, you know, it's out of his iTunes as well because it's also in this iTunes library. So if you go in and launch iTunes here, okay, when I connect my iPod here, uh, you're going to see it's going to pop up over here in the left corner. And there we go, showing up right there over in the left corner uh, after getting it connected. And you can see it's syncing the iPod Touch. You can see up here at the top. And then it comes over here and there's my summary for the iPod and it's syncing it. But if you click on the Applications tab, you'll see a list of all the applications that I have synced on that with that iPod. And you'll see nature.com is unchecked because I had turned that one off on here. So it didn't delete it off of iTunes, so it's still there. What Toby's wanting to do is to get it off his computer altogether because he has no intention to sync it with a different iPod Touch or an iPhone or maybe an iPad. So he wants to get rid of it completely and says, you know, I don't want it taking up any space anywhere. I don't want to see it. It's just getting chaotic because I have over, you know, 100 applications. And the way you do that is because all the ones that are unchecked that you see on the left, you can quickly make note of which ones those are. And this is the ones that you'd want to get rid of. And so all you have to do is come over to the left column, click on applications, the ones that are on your computer's hard drive, not the specifically the iPod Touch, you know, my device. Click on applications and there's all my applications on there. And all I have to do is, is select it and then hit the delete key on my keyboard. It prompts me, am I sure I want to remove it? Yes, I do want to remove it. And move to trash. I want to get rid of it. I don't want to see it ever again. I'm tired of that application. I have a new version I use. And that's all you have to do. And that gets rid of it. And that's all you have to do. Toby, hopefully that answers your question. And remember, if you have questions about your computer gadgets, is your personal computer being a com personal confuser or about the iPods or the iPads, whatever, send us your question at questions at askthetechies.com. Thank you.